Okay, so we're here at Tomka, which is a sacred site to the Lusinia peoples, and I'm here with Wundini Dio Campo. And um, Wundini, I wanted you to explain basically why was it important for us to have a delegation of people, a caravan of people from the San Francisco Bay Area and Santa Cruz to come down here and support the desecration of the sacred site that you're standing in front of right now. First of all, I want to thank the creator for, for us traveling down here. It was, it was a long journey traveling at nighttime to get to this place. And it, it's a very beautiful place. And if you could see that what they done to this sacred place of this tribe, and they have pulled remains out of here. There are remains down here in this container. And uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with the remains. I think it's either, to me, it's up to the tribe to deal with their, their ancestors. That's their ancestors locked up in a big old container. They don't belong in a big container. They belong back into Mother Earth where, where our ancestors lay. But you ask the question, why are we down here? To bring a national attention of what's going on in Indian country today about sacred sites and sacred places. And the indigenous people of this country have the responsibility to start speaking up for their sacred burial sites and sacred sites. That's why it's important for us to come down here with uh, 11 or 12 people from the Bay Area and to come down and, and offer our, our, our songs by Luther, singing California songs with a clapper, and, and offering our, our medicine, our sage, and, and our tobacco to, to these ancestors. It don't matter what tribe you come from, or nation, or band, or family clan. It's, it's the spirit of our ancestors. And, and the call is out there for all tribes, and nations, and bands, and family clans to, pro to start protecting these sacred sites. The battle is never over. The battle is never over until we stop these people, the developers, the bureaucrats, from developing on our sacred sites and burial grounds of our ancestors. If you could look and see this beautiful mountain here where the ants where, where, where the village was at at one time. And they wanna they wanna desecrate that mountain. And and they're desecrating this sacred burial ground. Like I said, they pull up remains. They wanna build these homes. And now what I just heard, they want to build a college on top of a sacred burial ground. And that's absolutely wrong. We need to start speaking up as indigenous people of this country and, and protect these sacred sites. There will be no more sacred sites of our ancestors. Uh, uh, but you have to have that, that spirit. You have to understand the spirit of, of, of our ancestors and the cultures, the culture of our ancestors. These people have no clue about our ancestors and what they did for, for them when they came here from, from Europe and took care of them. And our ancestors, and look what they are doing to our sacred sites and burial grounds. This is a beautiful place. And they come to destroy, to build homes. There's plenty of land on Mother Earth where they could build homes and, and, and other things. We have just finished a, a, a fight up in the Bay Area to protect Segorte. Uh, we were led by many, many people, three people or four people that I knew that stood up. Uh, Fred Short was the American Indian Movement that led the sacred fire up at Glen Cove. We just put a fire here today to, so people can offer their prayer to the ancestors. And uh, and here you see some of the some of the stuff that they desecrated. Uh, there's might be remains in these 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 bags here. I'm not for sure, but they had shown me stuff remains, uh, bones scattered all over the place. They have they have no respect for our ancestors. And like I told the tribe, we would uh, uh, if we were to go over to their cemetery and, and want to build something on top of it, but we would never do that because we don't want to disturb their ancestors. And 
And for them to come here and, and, and desecrate this, this sacred place is absolutely wrong. Mm -hmm. So they need support down here. Whatever the people could do to support them, uh, go to your website and uh, make a related, relay it to these, to these native people down here. These indigenous people, uh, they need a lot of support because this is not, this is not where they're going to stop. They're going to go other places, believe me, and I know that. And uh, we need to, as Indian people, need to come together and join together and fight to protect these sacred sites. It's a battle. We have been relocated. They want to relocate our bones, our sacred bones. Uh, we have 13,000 remains locked up in gym lockers and cardboard boxes at UC Berkeley and other other uh, other universities. They don't belong in no cardboard boxes. They don't belong in uh, 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 lockers, they including their sacred objects and their artifacts. It is absolutely wrong. And it's our responsibility as indigenous people of this land to start saying enough is enough. Thank you very much. Thank you.